Hello, Greg. Hello. Hello, Catherine. Hello, Matt. How are you this morning? I'm great. How are, you? How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you for joining us on Film Fiend. Uh, first of all, congratulations on having the number one movie in the country right now. Thank you very much. It's uh, it's number four in the series. Um, well, let's just get right to it. It's 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 scary. It's fun. It's it's all of those things all rolled into one. Um, I, I want to ask you guys: Have either one of you ever had maybe something paranormal that uh, has happened in your life? You know, I think everybody in the world had something paranormal happen to them in their life. They just don't want to see it. They just don't want to believe it. That's why these movies scare so many people because it's a psychological thriller. And the more you believe, the scarier you become. That's my mom always used to say that those noises I hear in the night were not, you know, what I thought they were. But I think that's just all of us trying to make ourselves feel more comfortable. I think there's a lot of param paranormal stuff that goes on in the world. So I think everybody experiences a little bit. It's just whether you choose to believe it or not. Yeah, well, you know, the mind makes things real. And so maybe those stories and things you were able to maybe, were you able to use those to draw for your characters and just make it even more fun? I didn't draw from it. I just said, okay, and just got scared and just did it. <laughs> They, wouldn't, they usually wouldn't tell us when something scary was going to happen, so we'd be like mid-scene doing whatever we're doing, and then they'll just <gasps> slam a bass drum or throw something down the stairs, and we're not looking like ready Drop for it. Chandelier. So it's, it's, it was actually very easy to kind of fall into it, because they, they made us fall into it. Now this, uh, this is like, it's found footage and, and things like that. I, I only have to, I have to ask this. How much more found footage do you think is out there? You know, is, is there, where, where do you see this all going? I think there are millions of tapes. Greg, I think there's a lot of found footage out there. I think it just, it just hasn't been found yet. So as long as we have Halloweens, maybe we can have paranormal activities. Absolutely. If the fans want it. If the fans want it, it will be These movies are fan driven. There. So it's whatever the fans want. Now, now for me, um, I have a, I have a scary movie that it, it still scares me to this day. It's uh, the original Willy Wonka. All of those like little, little orange Oompa Loopas. Um, I, I just can't handle that. Is there, is there a movie that, uh, that scares you? The Sixth Sense. The Sixth Sense will always and forever be the most terrifying movie, in my opinion. I had to, back when I was in, I, I'm going to give myself credit here, second grade, I had to sleep with my mom for two months because I went and saw that movie. It was terrible. You know, the Paranormal Activity franchise has always scared me a lot. I would go with my friends every year as a Halloween tradition, but they really did always stick with me because yeah. they were so real. And so, I mean, I've seen other horror movies, and I've liked them because I like to get scared. It's fun. But... For some reason, they, they paranormals, they just do because they're so real and believable. I didn't know that they were movies. I really thought they were found footage. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> when you guys have got some downtime, I know you're pretty busy. You've got other things coming out um, the beginning of next year and, and things like that. But when you're just, you've got downtime and there's a movie that comes on, is there a movie that, um, that you can just watch over and over? It doesn't matter what it is. It's just maybe it's a guilty pleasure or something. I love the movie Almost Famous. That's one of my favorite movies. And so I watch that one all the time. I just think it's a really funny. Any, any Judd Apatow films, Knocked Up, 40-Year-Old Virgin, oh all, like, all those kind of movies, they Get Him to the Greek, <laughs> all of those, th that group of people, I could watch those <laughs> movies over. I've seen each of those probably 50 times. Way too many to count. Matt, Catherine, we thank you so much for joining us this morning on Film Fiend. We hope uh, everyone goes out again this weekend and watches Paranormal Activity 4. And we look forward to those hundreds of uh, found videos that are out there. Absolutely. Thank you. Go get scared.